بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My beloved brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah with Allah's barakah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his blessings once again we are live with you in our weekly program and the teaching of the book of Mawlana wa Sayyidina al-Qutb al-Rabbani Sultan al-Awliya Sayyidi Shaykh Abdul Qadir al-Jailani Qaddas Allah sirrahu al-Aziz wa nafa'ana barakatihi wa alumihi fi al-Darayn through his book Al-Fatih al-Rabbani Sublime Revelation and as we are now uh, passing the month of Seed Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jailani, the whole and the Uru Seed Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jailani, month of Rabi'ul Thani, Rabi'ul Akhil Barak. We pray to Allah that inshallah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala will elevate his uh, rank more and more and his position as Sultan al Awliya because we can feel he is alive through his ilm. Through his spirituality. Al Mustafa وسلم, said, Ida matal in San Kata Amal when anyone died, his life stopped. Except three things. Sadaqa Jariya Ilmun Yun Tafa'ubih, a wala din salih and yadu'a yadu'ullah. One is Sadaqa Jariya. He left behind Waqaf, property, charity, and that's Hamdullah happening in Baghdad and other places in the world. There are many people doing Waqaf through the name of Sidi Sheikh Abdul Qajilani. He have not said that to them. But is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the one who installed these things in the hearts of the lovers of Sidi Sheikh Abdul Qajilani because his sincerity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his qabul, which he got from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the one made the people loves him everywhere in this world. And they do all types of good deeds, khlas fi sabilillah for the sake of Allah and in behalf of Sidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Qadir Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Next to it, ilmun yun tafa'ubih. And that's what we're doing, teaching his book. His tariqa everywhere in the world. People following his path, the order, tariqatul qadiriya. All the tariqas in the world have linked with tariqatul qadiri, Sayyidi Shah Abdul Qajilani. In fact, the Muslim world, all of them have divided to two. Either a murid, seekers of knowledge, Sayyidi Shah Abdul Qadir, or muhibbin, lovers and of Sayyidi Shah Abdul Qajilani. And he is a wali ibn al-awliya, which agree upon in all Muslim world, Arabs and non-Arabs, uh, uh, black and white, etc. A walad in salih and yad'ullah. The third thing is a, a pious son will pray for him. And here we understand the son is a son which is your own son. The other one is your spiritual children. Those your students. They are when they pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their shiukh, uh, when they pray for their parents, and they pray also for their teachers, the shiukh. And I remind you again about that person whom his, uh, uh, when his sheikh passed away, he cried more than uh, the way he cried for his father. So they say, how come you pray for your sheikh more than your uh, father? He said, because my sheikh is the one who taught me how to respect and love my father, my mother, my siblings, my neighbors, how to do good, how to behave good. So this is the, you call it the inspiration of the shiuch and the suhbah. When you touch yourself to the proper shiukh, shiukh al tarbiyah wa ta'aleem, shiukh bring you, take you out from yourself and present you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah's servants. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Surah al Fatiha. Ya Allah, to you alone we worship and from you alone we need help. How is going to do that? Ihdina sirat al mustaqim. Ya Allah, we need guidance. Guide us to the step path. Sirat al ladhinan anta alayim. That is the one. To be Allah's servant, to be sincere, you need people to guide you. Sirat al alayhim. The path of truly guided, pious, pious people. And Sayyidi Shaykh Duqajilani, he have left ilm, he left sadaqah, he have muridin everywhere in this world, muhabbin who uh, they do lots of things on behalf of him, of course, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, Allah grant us to be among the lovers of Sidi Shaykh Abdul Qadir and all awliya Allah salihin and to have the adab with them and to inhale, to get from their ilm uh, the knowledge that it will shine, inshallah, inside our hearts in order for us to be good people as they used to be. And as I said, as we are passing now, the Urus, the Hall, the Giyarmi Sharif of Sidi Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jailani, and we see many people. Uh, 
celebrating, and of course in Baghdad, many people try to uh, try their best to go to Baghdad to attend the, 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 the waves of the blessings there near the maqam of Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani. Awliyaullah al maqabir the graves and the shrines, is not something simple. It's delighted with uh, rahmah, with light. Al -angel, the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, around. When you enter, salamu alaykum, diyara qawmi mu'mineen. You know the hadith of Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, assalamu alaykum, the lands of the city of qawm mu'mineen, the blessed people. The, the blessings of the people, the salihin, the pious people, it will continue. And when he's alive, and after he passed away, is he, is his pi piety will go, the blessings of Allah will leave. No, 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 it will around, be around always, of course. And therefore, whenever you read the books of Salihin, those whom they pass away, when the ulama write, they wrote about them, you said, so and so, al-alim al-fulani, al-wali, so and so, waliullah, the pious, the, the, the saint, uh, you will talk about him, they say, wa qabruhu mashhudun yuzar, and his grave is known to the people, and people visit him always. In Tariq Baghdad, example, Medina Salam al-Khatib al-Baghdadi, uh, one of the very beautiful book about Baghdad, Medina Salam, the Imam al-Khatib al-Baghdadi was a very known scholar, he mentioned that book that Sayyidina al-Imam al-Shafi'i, he said, when I have any, my heart has got congested, you know, because of the teaching, the life, and you know, the issues of the life, and I feel that I cannot solve any mas'ala, problems, fiqh, fatwa, I'll go to the grave of Al-Imam Abu Hanifa radiyallahu anhu, Imam Al-A'zam. Go to his grave. And I pray two rak'ah there and I ask Allah there subhanahu wa ta'ala. See, he ask Allah there. Is there anyone said you cannot ask Allah there? We can ask Allah everywhere. Not no issue. But you know, there's a spiritual place when you go, you feel good, you feel calm. And this is not something to be explained uh, just like that. It's like medicine. It's like when someone takes medicine, he knows this medicine is... Uh, could be medicine to cure sickness, could be vaccine <laughs> to protect from sickness, could be vitamin, to be boost. You know, this is all something like spirituality. Also, same thing, my beloved brothers and sisters. We have to understand these meanings and flavors of, uh, of, of emotion and, you know, these things. I mean, inshallah, maybe one day we'll talk about that. So, Salihin, the grave, the maqams, is shining. And you see something very interesting. Uh, when a pious man buried in one area, the people after that start also bury, huh? that area became a burial, become a cemetery because of that pious man. And they call that area under his name. For example, in Baghdad, we have Maqbarat al-Ghazali. Imam al-Ghazali was there. He's not himself was there. He was there. One of his students was there. Someone linked to him. Buried there, and they call it Al Ghazali. Muhammad al Sakran, you know, there's someone, Imam Muhammad al Sakran, buried there in Iraq also. And the people start to become a cemetery. Ma'ruf al Karhi, the Imam Sayyidina Ma'ruf al Karhi, that the biggest, one of the biggest cemeteries uh -huh, in Baghdad, you see the people buried there because Sayyidina Ma'ruf al Karhi and Al Junaid al Baghdadi. In Najaf, in, in Imam Sayyidina Imam Ali, Darul Salam, they call it. Many people, but Baqi', you go Baqi', Baqi', Ahl Baqi', linked close to Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They did the one of ulama said, I buried there because in the city of Rasulullah, in the place where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to work. And more importantly, in Yawm al-Qiyamah, when we get up from our graves, I see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam front of me. So these meanings, the beautiful meanings we have to understand and uh, someone have to explain, the ulama have to explain so that understand and there will be no disturbance by those who doesn't know these meaning and qualities of teaching. May Allah grant us uh, to be among al-mu'mineen al-muttaqeen al-salihin. So my beloved brothers and sisters, now talking about shiyukh, yani, when you talk about Sayyidi Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, al-Imam al-Dhahabi, when he went to Baghdad, he said, I entered Baghdad in Hadir Five six one. That's the same year where Sayyidi Shaykh Abdul Qadir passed away. And exactly two months before he passed away, he said, I spent two months with him. Came all the way to be with him. And I find him very extraordinary scholar, shining. The knowledge come from his mouth, 
from his action, the way he treats people, the way he talks with people, the way he looks to the people, the way he smiles people, with his patience. You know, when you list things, to learn is not for you always to hear. You have to see. Yani Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam talked about Al-Quran, teacher taught us Al-Quran or Sunnah, but he himself implemented that in himself. He himself, yani, before you talk about Al-Quran, when you see him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know that Al-Quran in front of you. In his teachings, in his, yani, Sayyidina Aisha radiallahu anha said, when they asked about the akhlaq of Sayyidina Rasulullah, she said, have you not gone through Al-Quran? He said, yes. He said, kana khuluq Al-Quran, yardha li ridah wa yaghdab li ghadabih. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his akhlaq, he got it all from Al-Quran al-Kareem. He's happy when things happy as in Al-Quran, and he's angry if the things go on as Allah mentioned in Al-Quran al-Kareem. So Salihin, they have adopted Quran al-Kareem, Sunnah al-Mustafa, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa ahwal al-rijal, meaning the teachings and inspiration of pious people whom when you sit with them, uh, you will feel you are in a different world. Ahad al-Salihin said in his teaching, he said, uh, sit with the people whom always remember Allah. Remembrance of Allah, it will not only what they say zikr, that's what, of course, important. But the way they behave, when he eat, he mention Allah's name. When he sit, he mention Allah's name. When he enter house, thing happen, pay, yani, these all the things which when it's happened, they make you understand that, uh, they make you Understand if a person feel and understand that that is the way which Allah wants us to see and that's what the way Allah wants us to to adopt also in our life. That's a salihin. They are not going to say to you, do this and do that. You can see that in your life. They're a suhba, a suhba, they call a sahib sahib. A sahib, the companion, is the one who pull you to his world. Therefore, you have to be very careful who's the one who's pulling you to his world. The world of salihin or someone else. So be with the most whom they may remember always, subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the time. And of course, Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you talk about normal zikr, they said, he alayhi salatu salam used to mention Allah's name in each place he sit. He seated here, he goes to other place, he goes elsewhere. In each place he will say, they counted for him between 70 to 100 times, Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanallah, al-azim, or subhanakallah, bihamdika, shadu. Yani, the zikr, the tasbih. Always, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, each place. So, when he talk a little bit, he will mention it. You know, when there's, if there's any time, like, silent or quiet, he will mention Allah's name, subhanahu wa ta'ala. To make others also mention Allah's name. This is al-baqiyatu salihat. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, Allah akbar. You see, this al-baqiyat, this is something which is going to remain for you. Al-baqiyat, remain. Salihat, the pious. This is something which you have planted. In, in Akhirah, they said, the angels building for you a palace. As long as you mention Allah's name, and Allah will recite salawat upon Rasulullah. When they st you stop, they stop building. The minute you start zikr, they start building again. The more you do, the more you see. The finishing is great, everything. We call it dhikr, al-baqiyat, salihat, and that will make, what the meaning of the zikrullah? To link you with Allah and to get the prize with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So sit with the people who always remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because if you are an alim, nafa'aka ilmuk, if you are a scholar, your knowledge will benefit you. You get a dose. You are sitting with the people who whom match Matching you, you're matching you, or you're matching them. Huh? That's what you want. The ilm will benefit you. And if you are ignorant, jahil, they will teach you. Uh, you will learn something from them. And if there is a blessing bestowed upon them, it will also touch you. Um will come hadith. You know, there is my hadith in the presence of Salihin, the blessings will come, and Allah will forgive the people, whoever sitting. At that gathering, because of the pious people, whom the قوم لا يشقى بشم جليس من هذه حديث نرتد in all the book of Sahih. So you get these things. Zikr, benefit your علم. If you have علم, will increase your علم. Jahl, they will taught you. They will teach you. And if there is blessing, الرحمة من الله coming, you will get it as well. And do not, he said, do not with the people, whom they never mention Allah's name. Only jokes, bullying. 
talking nonsense, nothing to do, and they forgot that the words coming from their mouth registered. Don't think it's gone like that. No, it's registered. Especially if it's linked to people's life or people's right. This is short, this is tall, this is this color, this one like that. Nothing, nothing, nothing to involve in anything except things which make you close to Allah. Talk, say, do things which Allah happy to see you doing it. If, if it is not, in this case, you have to be uh, very careful, my beloved brothers and sisters. Be always connected with those who make you close to Allah. And don't sit with the people who will mean talk nonsense. And you will be like them after that, na'udhu billah. So don't sit with them because if you're ignorant, if you're jahil, they will increase your ignorance, na'udhu billah. And if you are alim, your knowledge won't benefit you. No, no one benefit you. If you are not, you know, uh, let's say, uh, if you are alim and they won't listen to you, you are wasting your time in this case. Last thing, if there is any curse dissenting upon them, you will get it as well. Na'udhu billah. And that's the last thing we want to see, to do. So the benefit of being in the presence of ulama, uh, salihin, is something which is very important. I, yani, uh, you see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ar-Rahman, fas'al bihi khabira. Ar-Rahman, ask the one who's knowledgeable of him. The one who have the knowledge of Allah. Meaning of forgiveness, meaning of Rahman. When Allah forgive me, how he forgive, what's the meaning of Rahman, when it's come, am I included or not? They will teach you all these meanings because they are experts. Now, when you want to do anything in your life, you have to, have to ask experts. You, you go doctor, engineer, lawyer, not only expert, not only someone who knows, expert, the best. And you know, to, to access to these people, difficult. You have to travel maybe overseas to see a good doctor, a good lawyer, a good engineer, etc. If you want to find a good job, you have to go overseas in a place where there's an opportunity for you to buy, find a good job also. See, the ilm also, something similar. Exactly. So we have to attach ourselves to those people who will and make us understand the reality of our deen. They will take us from the prison of our own selves to the freedom of the life. Because we are, if you are prisoner in this life, prisoner because of your, to your wealth, prisoner because of your position, prisoner because of ego, you are in a prison, you are in a cell, you are in a jail. You have to be released. How? These people will help you to do that. al Sheikh man naha the Sheikh is the one whom you will be inspired with his talk and he will elevate your situation because of his good situation and good position. The one who will take you away from Allah, from not uh, to take you, uh, sorry, not take you from uh, your own self and bring you close to the creator of your own self, to the one who for you to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala in a proper way with sincerity and the shiuch as you can see nowadays in our life uh, many people want to attach to sheikh who will guide them in this life temporary life they don't want this life to pass just like that and in this case the shiuch the alim, the scholar, the sheikhs, they are types. There is someone who will bring you close to Allah. He's the one who got accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sayyidina al-Khidr alayhi salam. No? Sayyidina Musa is higher than him. He's Rasul. Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam is messenger. Higher, much, much higher than Khidr. Khidr, the ulama said he's a prophet. Some said he's not. But even if he's prophet, his position and his, you know, is much lower than Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. Allah gave him ilm. وَأَتَيْنَاهُمْ لَدُنَّا عِلْمًا This is something given to him specially. Special for him, in Allah. No one knows. So he go and Sayyidina Musa go all the way to get the blessings of that ilm. Alright? Okay, then there is someone who is, he is a sheikh because of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He followed the teaching of Sayyidina Rasulullah. The Senate, he took the knowledge from that sheikh to that sheikh to that sheikh from his sheikh from his sheikh from that the chain to Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we can see the presence of Sayyidina Rasulullah 
in that sheikh to his attitude, to his behavior. It's not only uh, to say that, oh, he's like Rasulullah. What do you mean by he's like, he's like, he's like his, his face? Or he's shining or whatever? You know, Rasulullah wants people, you know, uh, uh, to follow the example of him. وَلَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولَ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا In the Rasulullah, you will find the excellent example, my Lord, brothers and sisters. It's not only enough for him to be from Rasulullah's lineage. That's important. Good, great, alhamdulillah, touch to Ahl al-Bayt. Or Shuyukh, he is a grand-grandson of this sheikh. Sadat Sidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, Sayyidina Ahmad Rifa'a Kabir, Sayyidina Naqshbandi, Sayyidina Tshisti. They're great. But I want to see the effect of this lineage in himself. He's not only someone for me to take a tariqah from him to say I'm Qadri and that's it. Or Jishti or Rifa'i or, or Naqshbandi or Shadili or Tijani. No, what is the effect of that tariqah in my life? I'm a Muslim. Look, show me Islam. Where, where is Islam here? Islam is what? By name only? You Islam, Muslim is in what? Just to say I'm a Muslim, that's enough. Your name shows that you're Muslim. No, the Islam is much bigger than that. It is behavior. Is akhlaq, is moral character, my beloved brothers and sisters. We have to put this in our mind and think of it carefully. Beside that, the ilm, what I've learned from him. Am I a good person? In my shop, when I sell and buy, in my office, in my business, am I good? I'm following Allah's instruction. Who's the one who teaches me? The sheikh himself. Okay, the ilm, the knowledge of the sheikh. Who's the sheikh? The sheikh who? Is just by name sheikh? Doesn't know anything about Quran. Sunnah al Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's good if you're a pious man. That's good. But if I want to ask, I want to get knowledge. All right. And the the, the shiuk also, any uh, uh, the big responsibility on their head. Allah, big responsibility. Allah, if they know, if they know how the tremendous responsibility they have, I think they will leave everything and just sit at home. Because you are in charge of your family, your daughters, your boys, and you know your children, your wife. And you are this responsibility on your head. How about responsibility of guiding people? What they have learned from you? Sitting, uh, eating food, uh, getting donation, and uh, collecting money. Who, who's, what is this all about? That's the ilm, that's what Sidi Sheikh Abdul Qajilani, for example, Sayyidina Ahmed Rifa'i, or Sayyidina Sayyidina Mohinjin Tishti, or Sayyidina Bahadir Naqshbandi, or all these great scholars of the guides of Allah. That they came for these reasons? Only for Langar and this one? That's great to do this. I'm not sorry, there's something. But not that mean you go and collect and you ask and you know this. I want to build an insan, Qabla al Imran. We need to, you know, when you, you see the place, you know, for example, in Baghdad, the city of the Qal, always we have, alhamdulillah, uh, uh, renovation and this one. But this happened by, the self, by itself, or because the sheikh was there. And when the sheikh he was there, he came there not because he wanted to build madrasa or masjid, he built people. And the people gone everywhere in this world, that's muhabbin, others are what they do. You see, they do whatever they can do. That's something which we have to put in our mind, my brother, brother, just says. I am saying this because. Alhamdulillah, Allah giving me and the, the responsibility with my other brother, Sayyid Khalid, to be the custodians, the grand custodians of the Maqam Sayyid and Shaykh Abdul Qajah. We are two, and the only two grand custodians, and Sajjad and Ashin in Baghdad. Others, with high respect to all, ulama, the Shaykh of Tariqa, it could be the lineage of uh, Sayyid Shaykh Abdul Qadir, Alhamdulillah, on top of our head. But the custodians, the mutawalli, the trustees, those in charge of the maqam, the waqf, Sheikh Abdul Qajilani, the, the school, the, I mean the, the, the masjid, and all other activities, Al-Faqir, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give me this duty of khidma, and my brother, Sayyid Khalid. It's two of us. Oh, alhamdulillah, we are a loving family. We are, our family is close to each other, but I talk about responsibilities. Family matter is different, and responsibility is different here. So I want everyone to understand what I mean here, my beloved brothers and sisters. So that uh, no uh, uh, misunderstanding will happen. And besides, as I'm talking, as we are now in the Gyarmi uh, uh, of Sharif and the Urus, people, visitors coming, and, uh, or maybe people want to do something good in Baghdad. Jazakumullah khair, ahlan wa sahlan. But 
uh, we have mentioned this before, we have never asked anyone. No one authorized, no one, not a single person, authorized to do anything on behalf of us. No one. No one represents us in this matter. So no one will come, or no one should say, I am the one, I do this, I do this one, for Langar, for Tamir, or for Ramadan, or no, we have not asked anyone. People come, ahlan wa sahlan. no one can stop them. This is Sadaqa Jariya, no one can. But, in a proper way, and God receipt also. So no one can say, oh, no, I know need for me. No, 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 everyone need. So this is something which I want to mention. I just took this opportunity while in, in Rabi'u al-Akhir, and uh, these things are because I, people ask me. They receive messages, people ask donations, people. We never ask anyone. No one authorized in our name, just to mention that to you. And if anyone said, ask him, where is the receipt? Show me. And that receipt contain names, everything, and WhatsApp number. This, when you take this receipt, WhatsApp it. And that number is our numbers, private numbers. So we will know, because we are going to be asked. Our staff to be asked. It's a responsibility, my, brother, my beloved brother, sisters. No one authorized. Plus, the sheikh is not the one who looking to your pocket. He's looking to your heart. And each time you sit with him, get his knowledge, you find changes in yourself. Changes in your, in, in your behavior as a son, as a father, as a mother, as a daughter, as everything. We want this. He attend majlis or a, a program of the sheikh. That sheikh came back home, same person. What's the point here? What's the difference? What's happening? Nothing. The Sahaba to Mustafa each time they go, they come back with extra nur. They get more nur of being attached to him. Salawat to Rabbi Salamu Ali wa Ali. Yes. So Alhamdulillah, brother and sister, this is something which is in Allah and Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And there is a shiukh whom the shiukh themselves around, they have all of them. They say, this is our chief. And they're proud to say that he's our chief. Yani it's not that mean the sheikh himself, if they talk about other sheikh in his presence, yani it's not like talking to say that you, he, he's better than you. No. You feel happy to see that there is someone else beside you doing something good in correcting in the, uh, the people in the nation of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Da'wah ila Allah, invite people to the path of Allah. Correct them, that's great. Alhamdulillah. We want to see these qualities. So when we see someone who is not better than you, he have ilm more than you maybe. And you have ilm more than him. Sayyidina Al-Khidr Alayhi Salaam and Sayyidina Musa Alayhi Salaam, when they were traveling in the ship, a bird came, took something from the sea. Sayyidina Al-Khidr said to Sayyidina Musa, Ya Nabi Allah, Ya Rasul Allah, do you know what message this bird says, saying, what he did, the, 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 the bird but did just now? Say, what is it? He's saying, I has ilm and you has ilm, but all of our ilm is not even a drop from that sea where the birds came and took something. No, not equal to that. So the shiuk, everyone, Allah giving him something. There's mufassir, there's muhaddithir. Uh, there is Faqih, there is Nahwi, there is Usuli. Ah. But there are some shiukh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them so much. As Imam al Dhabi said, uh, of, when he talked about Sidi Shah Abdul Qadir, he said, Kana mil al -ayn. He said, Enough. When you see to him, you will see all the shiukh in one. All in one. He himself, there is a sheikh, he is a teacher. But there is a sheikh who is a school himself. You will find everything on him. That is two, he said, Spend two months with him, enough. It is enough for me. And that's the, see, the barak of Sidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani. So that, as we said, just talking about this, sitting together, eating food, langar and food, I mean, you know, that's good, of course. But the main issue, the main, the main, the main thing is the ilm, is the tarbiyah, suluk ila Allah, suluk wa the path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what we need to know. As-sudq, al-ra'fa, al-rahma. Sayyidina Rasulullah, bil mu'mineen ra'uf rahim Am I gentle? Am I merciful as Rasulullah? Am I concerned about my people? That's what Allah, Allah described him. And show me this akhlaq in you. 
شو هم يخلاق المحمدية ويريد أبات سيدنا رسول الله يلوف سيدنا رسول الله يرسل سلوات أبات أبان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم okay what is the effect of all these things you just listening no شمائل خصائص سيرة we have not seen the surah of سيدنا رسول الله but we came to know the سيرة of سيدنا رسول الله no not photography <laughs> but the biography of سيدنا مصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم which really affect you affect you spiritually to be Allah's servants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Yusuf said, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةِ أَنَا وَمِنِ اتَّبَعَنِي وَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ He says, see, this is my way. I call to Allah and those who follow me, follow me, being certain and glory be to Allah and I am one of the believers. The way basira, clear with with yaqeen, the way of Allah subhanahu wa taala, that's how we should be. Changes, goodnesses, webs of rahma, qawl wa fi'l wa hal wa amal, saying, talking, advising, amal you yourself, and ahwal. You can see the effect of these in your life. Al ulama, the shiuh, they were servants of the path. And they will make you also a servant of the path. And we are a servant. You understand what the meaning of servant? First of all, humble heart. Second, more deeds you do, more close to Allah, and more you don't want the people to know. Doesn't matter. More important is Allah Himself knows. If Allah Himself knows, uh huh. What else you want? You want the just people to welcome you, Ahlan? Welcome. No, that, 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 just, just be with Allah and see how Allah will please you in dunya wal akhirah. Forget about the people. If you are with the Creator, what's the meaning of being close to creatures or creation? Be with the Creator and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He will, 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 will show you the path. We don't want ulama who has long and many titles. I want alim to teach me one title, one and only one. Abdullah, Allah's servant. Sayyidina Isa said, Qala inni Abdullah. Biggest title ever you can get is Allah's servant, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your name Abdullah, your name Abdul Rahman, your name Abdul Aziz, Abdul Wahid, Abdul Majid, Abdul Qadir, Abdul Kareem. Yeah, the servant of the general servant. I want to see that. Are you really servant or just by name? Change your name then. <laughs> you have to, is it a name? Will follow what? The action also. Have to call like a have in his name. They have to be for you a chance of a lack from your name. It's not only a name, just like that. And the following the shiuch, my beloved brother and sister, is not that someone who has millions of murids. Millions of murids, all of them sincere. Well, if we have one sheikh who has hundred thousand great murids, the world will be great. Because first they will that the Allah and Taba He will. Get the knowledge, and he spread that knowledge. He go here and there. Subhanallah. Huh? They, they they spread that what they have learned. They won't talk about problems. They will solve the problems without people fearing. I don't want someone to. The doctor said you are sick. Yes, I can't because I am sick. Where is my medicine? I'm not came here to say you are. I am sick. I came here to find medicine solution for my sickness. Spiritual sickness is the worst. They should to teach us. And they should not. They won't say, "Hey, you are munafiq, or you are liar." No, no one would accept. But they will change. I can see that in myself, and more than anything, beside that, people will see that. And the most, on the top of all, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will love that to be servant of Him. And these all because of following the path of Salihin. Brothers, sisters, one of the things which keep us away from Allah and Abu Bilal talk about others. Keep yourself busy with yourself. Sayyidina Mawlana Jalal al-Din al-Rumi said, I was, yesterday I was smart, so I tried, I was trying to change the people. Yesterday I was smart, so I was trying to change people. Today I am wise, so I'm changing myself. You be wise, change yourself, brothers and sisters, and then you, you, you can see the change in the people who are attached to you. It's not for you to say, do this and do that. You do it first and let people take you as an example. I think that will be much better, alhamdulillah. And 
Don't waste your time talking nonsense. Put in your mind something. See the Shaykh al-Qajir and he said, Man la la The one with his, when you see his action, if it's his action, not going to affect you, his preach also won't affect you. Sit the way he talk, the way he sit, the way he behave. Even his calmness when he sit, even the way he sleep can affect you positively or negatively. So we need this, my brothers, brothers, sisters. See the Shaykh Abdul Jalani Qadr Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Fatha Rabbani, who came across this before, used to say, Allahumma dullana ala man yadulluna alayk. Ya Allah, guide us to the one who will guide us to you. Guide us, Ya Allah, to the one who will guide us to you. We need someone to guide us to Allah. Guidance won't come just like that. Guidance will come to those whom they rightly guided, whom they already guided, and you follow them. They will teach you these meanings. If you want to be good, you want to be generous, you can be generous, but one, two days finish. No, they will make this good uh, uh, character permanently with you, not temporary. You will be all the way good. And that's what we want. Till we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Husnul Khatima, insha'Allah. Uh, first, patient could be patient, sick. Later, he's healthy. Now the challenge is to keep himself healthy all the way. But for us to be healthy all the way, our vaccine is to attach ourselves to pious people, to read about them, to adapt uh, their stories, and to create new story stories. We need this. Not only relate stories. The affection of their stories uh, will, will help us to make one more story. But because of that, good and brilliant story. Inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will uh, help us all to be among the pious, to follow the pious, to adopt their way of teaching, the way of life, to see, see the humbleness in ourselves, inside us, not only around us. Take out the love of dunya from your heart. Replace it with the love of the creator of the dunya and the creator of, of akhirah. May Allah give you the dunya and akhirah in your hand. I see the Shaykh Abdul Qadir used to say, Qaddis Allah Sallallahu May Allah grant us to attach to Al Arifin, the knowers of Allah, Al Murshideen, those whom they guide us to Allah, those whom the terms of conditions available on them to do so, not those whom they claim. May Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala grant us to be protected from the evil of our own self, the evil of people, and the evil of seen and unseen creatures. And may he guide us, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be among al-muttaqeen, al-muslihin, and may we reach to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, as a people of those who used to do good in dunya, and those who they prepare for them uh, to akhirah through the way they used to practice ibadah in dunya. And may Allah guide us and guide our children, our families, and to be among al muttaqeen with purity of hearts, purity of actions. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi l'akhirati hasana, wa qina adhaab al-nar, wa arda allahumma anna aghir aziz ya ghaffar, wa salli allahumma wa sallam barak ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, wa alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.